What's up you guys, Rex here. How accurate is checking for a fever by touching someone's forehead? This week in medical school, I learned that it's actually more accurate than I would have thought. And so we can treat this as a diagnostic test, assessing if someone has a fever or not. And when we talk about the accuracy of diagnostic tests, we really talk about the specificity and the sensitivity. So the specificity of a test is correctly identifying people that don't have a fever. So if you have 100 people that don't have a fever and you correctly identify with your test that 70 of them don't in fact have a fever, you have a specificity of 70%. Alternatively, sensitivity is the opposite, correctly identifying people who do have a fever. So if you have 100 people that you test and you correctly identify 95 of them as having a fever, you have a sensitivity of 95%. And there's actually been a lot of studies into this, mostly having to do with the mother checking their own child's temperature with their hand. And they actually get pretty good sensitivities. That one review, which I'll link below, that looked at 11 different studies that performed, found that on average, there is an 87% sensitivity. That means of the people that had a fever, 87% of the time, they could correctly identify that they did have a fever. Now, a slight weakness of this is that the specificity was only about 54.6%. So of the children that didn't have a fever, around 50% of the time, the mothers would think they did have a fever. Now, there's obviously like huge bias here of these, most of these studies are testing mothers in the setting of bringing their child to a hospital or to a doctor and that they are bringing them to the doctor because they think they are sick and therefore are much more likely to say, yeah, my child has a fever. Now let's compare this to other types of thermometers checking for a fever. One literature review that I read found that checking the temporal thermometer had a sensitivity of only 81% on average and a specificity of 90%. And so it sort of has opposite strengths that if someone does have a fever, checking a temperature with some types of thermometers may miss up to one fifth of the people that have fevers. That being said, they are not biased. They are a machine. And so they are not going to tell many people that don't have a fever that they do and incorrectly say that they do. So they'll be like 90% of the time, if you don't have a fever, it will correctly tell you, you don't have a fever. So there is some use to trusting a mother in checking their temperature of their child just by feeling their forehead in some sort of way that if the mother says, my child doesn't have a fever, you can generally trust that potentially even more than you can trust checking a temporal temperature with a thermometer. And one interesting detail I found was that checking with the palmar surface of your hand is much better than checking with the dorsal surface of your hand when talking about the sensitivity of assessing fever. This study that I'll link down below had a sensitivity of only 69.2% when checking with the back of the hand compared to a sensitivity of over 95% when checking with the front of the hand. And that's actually a pretty good diagnostic tool that if you are feeling someone's forehead or at different parts of their face with the palms of your hand, and you don't feel that they have a fever, there's a pretty good chance they don't have a fever. Now, if you do think they have a fever, that doesn't necessarily mean they do have a fever, so you can't rule in a fever for sure, but you can use that to rule out a fever potentially. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. If you want to catch more of these videos where I share cool things I learned in a week of medical school, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video. And until next time, don't be ordinary. Go be great.